Morning party people, Coach Martin here. So today we're talking about bands. Uh, these looped 41 inch rubber bands. Okay, you can get them everywhere. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so where you can get some for yourself. Um, for our purposes, we're not gonna need this big 50, 80 pounder, okay? I mean, unless you're doing some uh, heavy deadlift, um, accessory work or something, or um, uh, work from the rig or whatever, you don't really need them. <clears throat> For our purposes, we're only going to need the smaller ones. Um, as we go through this uh, this video, you'll uh, you'll see which ones I'm talking about, okay? So, um, my top 10 um, uh, banded um, workout movements. These are mostly uh, rehab or prehab in nature. Um, so light bands, it's important that you go through full ranges of motion and that you're using the right muscles for these. So um, the lighter bands are going to make more money on those. Okay, so uh, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, so first movement. Um, Banded pull aparts. This is a good, a good warm up movement. Uh, this is a good uh, rehab and prehab movement for your shoulders and your, for back muscles. Okay, so you're gonna take a band, a light band, or if you only have like a medium band, grab it in the middle. Okay, hands go straight up in front of you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your arms straight, pull that band so that it touches your chest, and then you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. Okay, nice and slow and under control. Now we're going to do 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so stand right here. Now what you're going to do is just turn your hands upside down and do the same thing. One, three, those shoulder blades together. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Even with this light band on my shoulders, my upper back muscles are already um, already burning. Okay, same idea, but now we're going overhead. We stretch that band so it comes down to the top of our shoulders. We're going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Okay, one, two, three, four. You let the band go in front of your face. Five, or you can let it go behind you. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, same idea. Now we're just going to move our hands. So they're facing backwards. One, two, three. Get nice and tall. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, last movement. Elbows are buried into our sides, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna spread that band out, okay? What we're trying to do is move these muscles right here. Okay, those muscles that always get torn up. Um, you know, you're always hearing about people with torn rotator cuffs or whatever. That's these muscles here. And this is gonna help you um, strengthen those and stabilize those. So, you may only be able to move a couple of inches, and that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so five movements in among that one single thing called band pull parts. <clears throat> All right, next up, face pulls. <clears throat> All right, so again, like, like, uh, like, white band. <clears throat> now you kind of need something to tie your band to, okay? I'm going to be using this uh, this rig right here, but you can use 
a door handle, um, a sliding door handle, something solid that you can hook this band on. You can even take some sort of device, uh, slide it through here, or make a knot in your band, and then put it in a doorway, close the door so that the knot is stuck in the doorway. Okay? I do that uh, at home all the time. Okay, so, um, but for now, um, we're going to use the rig since it's here. How are we for can we see that here? All right, so a lot of things happening here. First of all, stand up nice and tall, uh, grab the band, arms out straight, and you're gonna, you're gonna pull the band to your face, elbows up high. Okay, and then once you get to the face, you're gonna pull it apart, and you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together, okay? So here, here, pull, one, Two under control, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, upper back is burning right now. Bent over rows. Okay, we can do this one a couple of times. Another pulling movement, so we're still working on those upper back muscles. All right, so you can use, you can <clears throat> do it with um, both, both arms at the same time, okay? Um, I'm gonna put the stand on the band, bend over, make sure your lumbar curve is intact, nice proud chest, um, head and neck at neutral, and you're gonna reach down, grab the bands here, and pull to your belly button. Two, three, four, five, six. And you can adjust this by spreading them out or reaching down on the band further. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Um, the one, the one um, handed option is to step on the band. Again, you can adjust it just a little bit, and now here you're going to pull up. And don't twist your body, try to fight the rotation of that pull. Okay? And of course, you have to do the opposite side too. Alright, <clears throat> split squat. So these are uh, foot elevated split squats. Okay, so we're gonna elevate one foot on a box. Okay, and the movement is to try to get this knee low to the ground and this leg parallel to the ground. Okay, that's the idea there. <clears throat> we're gonna stand on the band for the leg that we're working. Foot feels elevated. That's too, something too difficult for you. You can definitely do this with your foot flat on the floor. Okay? Look up here. I'm going to reach down and grab this band. <clears throat> Pretty low on this one. And we're going to go low and then push up with our butt muscle. Okay? Our butt muscle and our hand muscle, our posterior chain muscles. Really squeeze that butt. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then we simply change our legs, step on the band, put those up here, and grab the band. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, squeeze that butt muscle. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, Bulgarian banded Bulgarian split squat. <coughs> Deadlift. 
Okay, so for the deadlift, you need something a little more substantial. <clears throat> but if this movement is new to you, then uh, stay with the lighter band until you get the movement down right. All right, so we're gonna stand in the middle of the loop. <clears throat> okay, so from here, we're gonna hinge at the hips, sticking our butt out. Okay, so we're gonna stick our butt out a little bit. <clears throat> we're gonna hinge so that our chest is in front of our feet, okay? You bend your legs slightly. Lots of tension in your low back and your butt, okay? Reach down, grab the band, on top of your ankles, okay, chest up, head at neutral, shoulders pin back, stand, squeeze those leg muscles back down. Remember, chest forward. Okay, the difference here is deadlift with my chest forward. I can do the same thing with squats just by putting my butt lower and standing straight up with nothing but my legs. I'm gonna keep my back in the same place. Okay, deadlift. We're just leaning out a little more, okay? And potentially we can pick up more weight. Okay, so for our purposes, <clears throat> we're just gonna do it like this. Okay, with your deadlifts. So another cool thing about these bands is, let's say you don't have a big heavy one. Well, all you gotta do is take a whole bunch of little ones, okay? And make the same, same movement happen with a handful of our bands. <clears throat> okay, what's next? Okay, a big rehab. Um, movement. Here it's going to be a light, a light band. Okay. I'm going to wrap it around something. Again, your doorway, a handle, whatever. And you want it pretty close to where your elbow is. Okay. Mine's a little high, but we're going to make it work. <clears throat> so um, you hear these called innies and outies. Uh, shoulder rehab, shoulder prehab. That whole business there. So here, <clears throat> what we're going to screw in our arm like this, basically. Okay, and we're going to try to get these muscles here to work, not all over the place. So stabilize your hand with uh, you roll up a towel in there. Um, you can put a, a roller, a foam roller, whatever you can put your hand. The idea there is, is you're going to squeeze and put a little bit of tension, a little bit of pressure into your armpit. That helps stabilize that movement, okay? <clears throat> so, I'm gonna put my hand there, I'm gonna squeeze it, and I'm gonna rotate it like this. Okay, so what I'm not gonna do, is I'm not gonna let my shoulder roll forward, I'm gonna keep it pinned back, okay? <clears throat> and you will, you will hardly never feel these. You won't see any muscles growing, you just gotta believe that you're doing really good things for your shoulder and your posture. Okay, so um, there's your any Audi, it's the same business, okay? I'm gonna switch hands so that's easy for you to see. And here we're going from, from our torso to out, okay? And we're always gonna try to keep this at around 90 degrees, okay? And it shouldn't be hard. As soon as you start using a hard band, some of your larger shoulder and back muscles take over. You don't want that to happen. You want to use a lighter band and get that good movement in there, okay? We're not letting it twist. We're gonna to try to stay as stiff as we can. Okay, those are your knees and outies. All right, next up, it's the same idea, only um, we're gonna put our arm here we're gonna to try to keep this at 90 degrees and this at 90 degrees, okay? And we're just gonna go, you can even hold your arm if you want to, and we're just gonna do this, okay? And you wanna sit there and kind of zone out on this. You wanna do it until you start feeling a little bit of burn. Um, some people can do this forever and never feel anything, but you just, like I said, you just gotta know that uh, you're doing something good. Okay, so 
um, we're pushing forward on one, and the other one is we're gonna go push from here to here, okay? I've always called these 90 90s, guys. Okay, my idea, don't let your shoulder cave, and don't twist with the movement. Okay, those are your any doggies and 90 90s. All right, hammer curl. We're gonna go back to our red band. Hammer curls. Okay, hammer curls. Um, yeah, it's. A, I guess think of curling as a bodybuilder movement. It is, but uh, you know, if you can keep your um, arm muscles strong, it also keeps. It also helps um, stabilize your elbow uh, muscles and your elbow joint. Same thing with your shoulders. Okay. You can feel that whole area you up with your bicep or your tricep that makes your elbow uh, pretty solid. <clears throat> okay, so hammer curls. We're gonna stand on the band. Okay? And you can stand with one leg. If you wanna make it harder, you can go with two, whatever. Um, and here, we're going. <clears throat> so, imagine a hammer like this, okay? It's not a curl. Even though you can do the curl right here, um, I prefer the hammer curl for uh, for this uh, for my top ten banded uh, movement. Okay, so do these to failure. Okay. <clears throat> Try to stand up really tall, and when you go down, make sure you go down all the way. Lock that arm all the way out. And go as high as you can without moving your elbow. Okay. Once you once you start moving your elbow, now it becomes a shoulder movement. Then you certainly can do that. But if you want to isolate those, that bicep, um, you need to keep that elbow that elbow still. Okay. Hammer curls. Pal off press. Okay. Pal off press. It's a core stability movement. Gonna take a band, hook it on something, grab hold of it with both hands, step out so you start feeling some pressure. Uh, lighter band until you get until you get the idea of what uh, what you need to do here. Of course, if it's not challenging, go up and band or step out further. Okay, so we're gonna start here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna press out. And we're gonna hold it. For a count of five, five to eight, we'll say. And what's happening here is it's trying to pull me like this, and I'm not letting it. Okay? I'm pushing against it, and you're just gonna hold it. Right now, this is all on fire for me. Okay, return. Keep it under tension. Don't let yourself relax here. Under tension. Okay, and you're gonna do these eight to ten times. I'm not letting it do this to me. I'm always holding it directly out in front of me with my arms straight. Okay? You can see the band trembling because it's harder than it looks. Okay? There's your pal off press. <clears throat> uh, tricep kickbacks. Uh, you can do this uh, with your band wrapped around something, um, preferably lower, or you can just stand on the band like so. Okay, you're gonna bend over, and uh, now the movement you're gonna make is you're gonna bury your, your arm here in your side, and you're gonna let that elbow, not let that elbow move. So we just want, to, just want to isolate our triceps. We're going to push back, squeeze that tricep, hold it for a second, and then back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Now we're gonna switch sides. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is Lexi. She's a rescue and she's afraid of uh, everything, her shadow. She had a really rough life. So, uh, trying to make it better for her. All right, one more to go. Okay, tuck ups. So, uh, it's a, this is an ab movement, okay? And uh, um, you're gonna need to uh, um, anchor your, your band down on the floor, okay? So we're gonna anchor right here. Okay, a little choke loop. <clears throat> and it goes, your band goes around your feet. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. And so from here, you're gonna do a sit up and then pull this in at the same time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, um, if you don't have an anchor point, you can do them the other way by putting the band on your feet, holding it here, okay? And as you tuck up, of course, that's very easy, but to go back out isn't. Okay. So, there you have it. 10 uh, banded exercises. Again, link below if you want these bands. And uh, subscribe, hit that notification button so you can see these workouts as they come out. Um, gonna do another banded one uh, next week. Um, so uh, there'll be an entire workout rep scheme, everything included in there. And uh, <clears throat> thanks for your time. You guys stay safe and uh, catch you later.